Hey everybody, DeLong Chat Signatures here. This is episode 29 of my 2024 TTM returns, and I have four successes and a purchase to share with you guys. Um, another kind of slow week to start off with uh, as far as returns go, but did get some nice ones here. Uh, so we'll start with these. First one is a hockey success. This is a two of two success coming back in 14 days from former NHL left winger Pat Murray. Added him to these pro set cards. Found a whole bunch of new names that I can send to from the early 90s. So glad to see another one of those come back. Next one is an Indy car return. Uh, this guy didn't accomplish too much in the Indy 500, but he accomplished a lot in World of Outlaws racing. This is a one of two success in 383 days from former driver Steve Kinzer. So he signed this photo and then returned this one unsigned. I'm not sure if maybe maybe it's another driver driving a similar uh, designed car that he used to ride. Or maybe he just doesn't sign IndyCar stuff. I'm not sure. But uh, Kinzer did compete. Um, I think he competed in the Daytona 500 as well. But uh, the Indy 500, um, several other racing series. But he won 20 World of Outlaws champions uh, championships. Uh, very, very talented driver. Um, I think he won like the initial inaugural year that they did it. And then um, so many consecutive ones. And then in one of his last seasons, he won another one. So very, very cool to add him. Would like to add some more World of Outlaws drivers. I've got a few because a, uh, a lot of NASCAR drivers do that as well. Um, I think Casey Kane is an owner of a team now as well. So be interesting to see if I could add any more from that series. But very, very nice success there. Well worth the wait. Then we have another hockey success here. This is a 2 of 2 coming back in 15 days from former NHL defenseman Joe Rieke, who signed in a pen. I believe he played about 900 games in his career. Pretty solid defenseman. Uh, didn't score a ton, but played a long time, so he did rack up, I think, over 200 points in his career. Last TTM success is an NHRA hero card return. I had several extra hero cards from this guy. I've been able to get some signed uh, in person. I got some signed through the mail as well, but I still had these few extras, so I sent these uh, three off, and I got back four from John Force Racing, now funny car driver, Austin Prock. So he has been a super cool guy to meet. Um, great with fans, uh, signs a lot through the mail as well. He doesn't have a limit like uh, John Force does, though of course I'm sure more people are writing to John Force than Austin Proc. So he signed those three that I sent, and then uh, I said in a previous video that Robert Height is stepping away uh, from the driver's seat due to some health issues. Um, hopefully that can get resolved so he can get back to racing because I don't think he wants to retire uh, but Austin Proc will be taking over his seat, so he included a hero card from this year. So that's very, very exciting uh, to have there. We'll see how he does. Um, I think their season starts this weekend uh, at the Winter Nationals, so we'll see how he does um, in a new dragster. But very, very cool to get that. So those were the TTM successes. And then we have a purchase. I finally got my COMC order in. They did... Um, meet their deadline that they set recently for uh, March 17th, and then everything arrived today. Uh, got a whole bunch of TTM fuel, a little bit of in-person fuel if um, I end up going to the NASCAR race, which I'm planning to this year, um, and a little bit of IndyCar stuff, but not much. But a lot of TTM fuel. I've already got a bunch of these letters ready to go. I just need to send them out now. But I did purchase one autograph. This was the Last wide receiver of the Super Bowl 50 Denver Broncos team that I needed to add. And uh, I couldn't find an address for him because this guy has a very, very common name. Um, and there's not a ton of information of him out there. But they had some autographed rookie cards on COMC. I think I paid like three bucks for it. So last wide receiver for the team, Kyle Williams. So purchased this 49ers autographed rookie card numbered out of 99. So 
most people probably don't remember Williams being on the Broncos because he never played a regular season game for them. Um, he was pretty good with the 49ers, uh, you know, decent depth receiver and um, did a lot of uh, special teams work uh, as one of the primary returners for the team. Uh, I want to say it was in like an uh, NFC championship game or something. He had two fumbles and was let go by the team after that. So the Broncos signed him and uh, immediately he had an Achilles tear. So he was out for the year, put on IR, and that was the same season that the Broncos won the Super Bowl. So he received a ring for it. His pro football reference page will not reflect that he was a Super Bowl champion, but his Wikipedia page does. Um, I want to say he stuck around for another year with the Broncos, and I think he re-injured himself. Uh, so he spent another year recovering. I think it was a knee injury as well. Um, and then had one more year in the NFL, and I think he was either let go um, due to like a physical or something like that, or if he was injured again. But this guy dealt with a lot of injuries and never really was able to get back on the field, unfortunately, after having a you know little bit of a promising start. I think he had some shoulder issues uh, one year with the Chiefs as well. So it really sucks for him. Um, I'm very glad to finally add him to the collection and wasn't very expensive. I'm going to check on my cat and see what her problem is. But um, <laughs> I am so sorry about that. But that is it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Helps me out a lot. Uh, best luck with you guys. It's collecting. Take care.